Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to determine what bend deductions are being used by the EZ profiler in the Savon control. Um, it's a simple procedure. We're going to do a new program, create a profile, simple shape, and then we're going to take some numbers from that and use them in SolidWorks. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and make a new program. Select EZ profiler. We're going to give it a name. Go. We're going to select a material that has been calibrated. Okay, so type in there, and you'll see my calibrated material show here. We're going to select it. Got green check marks, all good. We're going to create our profile now, and we're going to create our basic shape. Nothing fancy. Okay, just a U shape. Hit the green check mark. And let's dimension these. We're going to keep it simple. One inch, two inch, and one inch. Okay. That's all we need there. Remember, these are all outside dimensions like we have here. And let's go make a sequence. Okay. We don't have to go through this animation here. We could skip it. Just, you know, make sure there's nothing funny. Hit the green check mark. We're going to move forward. Before we get too far, I want to point out that when you finish with your uh, your sequencing and, and close off that profile, you'll come to this window. You want to go back here again and edit profile to see the latest updated flat, like you see right here. It might have been different prior. It's different after it calculates everything. From the, simula uh, from the sequencing and so on. And you'll see this updated number here. So you can always get back to this at any time. Okay, with our profile created, now we're going to move over to step four over here. Okay. Um, what we're looking for out uh, of several columns here, we're looking for this one here. We want to know the X position. So remember on our, our two flanges, they're one inch. And you'll notice here it's putting at 0.9571. Okay. So what that number is telling us there, it's removing a certain amount for the bend deduction. And bend deductions are usually this number, you know, the difference from your flange to this number times two. Okay. So take note of this number, 0 0.9571. Okay. We're going to take all those numbers that we got from the EC profiler on the Safan and, uh, we're going to use them to figure out what the bend deduction is. Uh, the first number I took down here was our flat. That was 3.829 okay, inches. Uh, the flange length we programmed is 1 inch. Okay. The x-axis input, which had the bend deduction removed, or half of it, is 0.9571 okay, inches. So the result is actually 0 0.0429. That's the difference between these two. That's half of the bend deduction. So you multiply it by 2. And our bend deduction is this number here, 0 0.0858 inches. We're going to use this number in SolidWorks to help us come up with our flat. Okay, so this is our key number. We'll come back to these numbers later after we get into SolidWorks. We're going to compare. Okay, we're going to create a flat or of the part in SolidWorks. We're going to measure the flat and we're going to compare the two numbers. And you can verify that you're accurate. Okay. Okay, next we're going to open up our SOLIDWORKS and we're going to create a sheet metal part. Okay, we're going to start here by uh, using this tool here. And we're going to create it on this top plane. And let's create our base. And I'm just going to do a quick dimension here. This is going to be two inches. This is our base here, so we want that to be two inches, like in the part that we did in the Easy Profiler. So I'm going to hit OK there. And here's where we got to pay attention. Um, the material, of course, is going to equal what you put into the uh, easy profile. We want to make that the same. And under here, under bend allowance, uh, I think by default, SolidWorks uses K factor. You have all these other options. We're going to select bend deduction here. Okay. And I'm going to type in that number, that point 0 0.0858 into this. Okay. This is key. 
So uh, once you do that, hit OK. That'll create our base. Now we're going to make our two flanges coming up. So we're going to use our edge flange tool here. Actually, we're going to start over. We're going to select our two edges first so I can get both my flanges in one shot. Okay, now we're going to go back to our flange tool. Okay, let's come over here and we're going to tell it we're one inch. Okay, uh, two important things. Make sure you're selecting, you know, an outside virtual sharp. You want that, you know, to be on the outside measurement. We don't want bees. You could use this one, but either one of these two, do not use that one. Um, the other thing we want to do is be sure our material is inside measurements. Okay, we're measuring on the outside of that flange, so we'll select this first one. Makes a big difference. Direction of flange, not too important. I put one inch back in there again. And let's complete it. Okay. There's our little sheet metal part, like we, just like we did in EC Profiler. One inch flange, two inch base, and these are outside the outside dimensions. Okay. Um, once we have our sheet metal part done here, let's just verify some dimensions. I'm going to click here, click here. Yep, two inch total distance from that edge to that edge. I should be having a one inch dimension here to here. Whoops. Yep, one inch dimension. And we're done there. Okay, once we've verified our dimensions, we need to flatten this part. And we're going to measure our flat. We're going to compare this number with the number that came out of the Safan. So I'm going to select this edge, hold the control key, select this edge. And here's my normal distance of this flat after it's unfolded, and it says 3.828. Let's compare that with our numbers. 3.829. Only a foul off. We're there. So we know that using this bend deduction is going to give you accurate flats coming out of your SOLIDWORKS. So you can use this to do your flats. You're going to run through your laser or you know whatever means you're going to use to create your flat. Just remember, these bend deductions are mostly accurate when you're doing 90 degree bends. Doing acute bends, bend deductions aren't very accurate. You have to use one of the more advanced ones. So that's how we reverse engineer that number. Now you know you can use this bend deduction for this material with those tools that you used for future ones. Okay, that's it.